Welcome to this week's edition of Fridays at Five. This week, we will be discussing the results of the legislative session and the upcoming midterm elections, along with a preview of many of the California Rifle Pistol Association's events. But first, let's talk about the pressing matter this week in Del Mar. The Del Mar gun show is under attack. Gavin Newsom and his anti-gun allies are pushing to ban the Del Mar gun show. They claim it will make communities safer, but there is no evidence to prove that. All this will do is limit the rights of law-abiding gun owners here in the state. Furthermore, it will remove the idea of gun safety, which supposedly the antis want us to have, away from many people who go to gun shows to learn gun safety. These anti-gun radicals must be stopped, and we need all your help to stop them. To learn more about how to stop this attack, please look at this link in the description of the video. Now we go to Heather Allen to highlight our Club of the Week. Hi again, everyone. CRPA's Club of the Week goes to Nevada County Sportsman's Club. At Nevada County Sportsman's Club, you can do everything from archery, rifle, pistol, even trap shooting. And the best part about uh, Nevada County Sportsman's Club is that they have an amazing youth program. So you can take your kids, take your grandkids, and they can participate in everything I just mentioned. So if you live in Nevada County, you definitely want to check out Nevada County Sportsman's Club. Back to you, Rick. Thank you, Heather. Now let's talk about some of the great events that the California Rifle Pistol Association has coming this fall with Sarah Barrett. Thanks, Rick. As many of you guys know, here at CRPA, we have a lot of programs and events going on all the time. But we want to share a few of, you, a few of our favorites that we currently have coming up. Our first one is September 14th through 16th, which is the Lodi Great Festival. There we will have a CRPA booth with one of our great volunteers, Tim, who's been with us for a long time. Make sure to check us out and say hello to Tim. Another event we have coming up is October 6th, which is our Northern California pheasant hunt. This is such a great event for first time hunters. We get to go out and hunt pheasants and we have dog handlers out there. It's really a lot of fun and a really great experience. Um, another event that we have coming up is actually the same weekend. It's October 6th and it's our Sheepdog Seminar in San Diego. This is a great event and also a great program that we've started to really develop and get off the ground. It's a great program for churches in which we teach you how to keep your place of worship safe. This is an invitation to all churches from different backgrounds and religions to come and check it out. If you guys have um, any questions, please feel free to email us at events at crpa.org or for more event information, go to www.crpa.org. Back to you, Rick. Thank you, Sarah. Again, if you're interested in signing up for any of these great events, please look at the links in the description below. Let's take it back to Heather Allen to highlight some more of our wonderful business affiliates. Hi everyone, happy Friday. A few weeks ago, I brought up the fact that not necessarily all of the businesses we here at CRPA are affiliated with completely revolve around the firearms industry. Which brings me to CRPA's new business affiliate, Huntington Beach Hair Company. So if you live in Orange County and you need a haircut, or say you've been shooting a lot, handling lots of ammunition, and now you need a manicure, definitely check out Huntington Beach Hair Company. Have a great weekend. Back to you, Rick. Heather, thank you so much. Now, let's recap the legislative session and highlight some of what happened. Senate Bill 1100, the bill that would ban firearms for anyone under the age of 21, is now on the governor's desk for signature. Additionally, Senate Bill 221, the bill that aims to ban the gun show in the northern part of the state in Daly City, the Billy of the Beast, San Francisco, also is now seen on the governor's desk. Finally, the gun rationing bill, Senate Bill 1177, is also on the governor's desk. These bills can still be stopped with your help. Please call the governor's office. Urge him to veto these bills. With all that wrapped up, let's focus on the elections this November. Here in the state, our Second Amendment rights are at risk. Anti-gun candidates across the state are working diligently with gun control groups to further strip the rights of gun owners here in California. It is vital that all gun owners vote to help secure their rights, not only for California, but for the rest of the country. Laws passed here again and again are pushed by these advocates in other states. So it's vital that we stop every bill that threatens the Second Amendment here in California. 
I know that it's tempting to simply leave the state and just forget about this fight. But if we do not continue the fight against these bills, they will eventually catch up to you wherever you move. It has already happened in multiple states. We urge all of our members and gun owners to get out this November, vote for Pro 2A candidates. You'll see our voter guide coming to you shortly. Take it, Xerox it, copy it, talk about it with all of your friends, and use it to defeat the anti-Second Amendment agenda of the Brady campaign. As always, thank you for joining us on this episode of Fridays at Five. For more great Second Amendment content, follow us on social media. Links, as always, are in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe to CRPA TV on YouTube and ring the notification bell to make sure you never miss our updates. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week.